नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भारद्वाज वंस अगेन वेलकम यू फॉर द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग फॉर नाइनटीन ऑफ अगस्त नाउ एज यू कैन सी दीज आर द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर रेनफॉल ऑब्जर्व यू कैन सी द वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल इज बीन रिपोर्टेड ओवर सम ऑफ द स्टेशन ओवर पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड उत्तराखंड एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द उत्तराखंड हरिपुर रिसीव्ड एटीन सेंटीमीटर ऑफ रेनफॉल अमाउंट हिमाचल प्रदेश नैना देवी स्टेशन रिसीव 14 सेंटीमीटर एंड ओवर पंजाब पठानकोट रिसीव 13 सेंटीमीटर ऑफ वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल अमाउंट एंड इन येलो कलर यू कैन सी दैट द आइसोलेटेड लोकेशन वेयर द हैवी रेनफॉल अमाउंट हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड बिटवीन 7 टू 11 सेंटीमीटर सो दिस आर पास 24 फोर आवर ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द करंट लोकेशन ऑफ टूअर द मानसून ट्रफ लाइन यू कैन सी दैट मानसून ट्रफ लाइन इज नियर टू इट्स नॉर्मल पोजिशन एंड इट इज पासिंग फ्रॉम गंगानगर दिल्ली कानपुर डेहरी bankura and to the center of the uh, low pressure system over southwest uh, south bangladesh and then hence passing through northeast bay of bengal so this is the current location of monsoon trough now if we talk about the various uh, cyclonic circulation you can see that uh, this is a low pressure area and uh, it's a, it's actually persistent since last two days over south uh, bay of bengal and adjoining area it depth uh, reaches to 5.8 km above mean sea level and tilted southward uh, this low pressure area uh, is likely to move north northwest slowly in next 24 hours and it will pass through gangetic west bengal jharkhand and adjoining areas of uttar pradesh uh, uh, chatisgarh and uh, uh, east madhya pradesh now if you talk about another cyclonic circulation you can see there is a at the lower tropospheric level there is a cyclonic circulation over Uh, rail sima and the trough line passing from the uh, rail sima to the comoran area and the, in the lower tropospheric level there is also uh, trough is uh, line is been observed from off coastal karnataka coast to the comoran area and there is also a persist uh, cyclonic circulation at the lower tropospheric level over south uh, southwest pakistan and adjoining area so these are the uh, system due to this uh, these are the highlights for today Uh, uh the low pressure area over south bangladesh is likely to cause heavy to very heavy rainfall over east and east central india during next 2 to 3 days or next 3 days and isolated heavy to very heavy is very likely over kerala tamil nadu and lakshadweep during next 2 to 3 days so these are the highlights now if we talk about uh the next 3 days uh warning i am be provide Uh, the warning up to 7 days so 3 days are been represented here in a graphical format and isolated very heavy rainfall amount is been forecasted for lakshadweep area isolated location over tamil nadu and if we come to gangetic west bengal uh, the isolated very heavy rainfall warning has been issued and over nmmt regions isolated very heavy rainfall warning has been issued and if we talk about the uttarakhand today the very heavy rainfall warning has been issued at isolated location over uttarakhand met sub division now if we talk about the uh, heavy rainfall amount you can see the most part of the southern peninsula in india is receiving the heavy rainfall amount and uh, some part of the central india and northwest of india including uh, odisha chatisgarh uh, east mp jharkhand bihar and uh, up and jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh also including uh, in east india shwb and assam and meghalaya these are the station uh, at isolated location the heavy rainfall can occur over this so this is 24 now if we talk about the day to forecast this rainfall spell of very heavy to heavy rainfall will continue for day two also and you can see that the very heavy rainfall uh, forecast has been issued for the lakshadweep area kerala ko kerala area uh, over isolated location tamil nadu gangetic west bengal and uttarakhand region and the heavy rainfall has been shown here in yellow color is been Uh, issued for heavy rainfall the heavy rainfall amount can go between 7 to 11 cm of amount now if we come to the day 3 only in southern peninsula in india lakshadweep area and kerala coast heavy rainfall warning has been issued for the isolated location and if you talk about the uh, konkan and goa region gujarat region madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and uh, the heavy rainfall uh, warning spell will continue over northwest of india and, uh, including uh, punjab haryana himachal pradesh and uttarakhand region now if we talk about the very heavy the very heavy rainfall uh, will occur over uh, the warning has been issued for bihar and jharkhand region and the northeast india if we caught uh, uh, including gangetic west bengal and the shwb region assam and meghalaya and mmt region can also receive 
for day three heavy rainfall amount. Now if you talk about uh, further uh, up to day four, day five and day six and day seven, now the very heavy rainfall spell can occur over Charkhand for day four and if you talk about in general uh, day five, day six and day seven, the heavy rainfall uh, spell will continue over the marked region in yellow color which is mostly covering the central uh, and the northwest of India and East India region during day five and this will come five to some of the station over uh, northeast India, Assam and Meghalaya and NMT, central part of the India and coastal Karnataka and Marathwada and north, uh, north interior Karnataka and coastal Karnataka region which will also continue heavy rainfall amount at isolated location for day 7. So this is the forecast uh, and uh, if we talk about the fishermen warning, fishermen are advised not to venture in the mark polygon region where grey color is showing the squally weather condition where the wind speed can reach up to 35 to 45 kmph and the uh, uh, dark uh, yellow color is been where the squally wind warning has been issued where the wind can reach up to 45 to 55 gusting to 65 kmph. So fishermen are advised not to venture in the mark region and this is day up to day 5 and you can get the updated information regarding the fishermen warning graphics regarding the bulletin de details from the IMD Mosum website and you can follow us on IMD Instagram and Twitter to get up-to-date information and warning. That's all for today. Namaskar. Dhaniwad.